Hello, this is Chaos Pool, and welcome back to more Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Last time, well, last time we did stuff. Like the lightning rod thing, remember that? Yeah, that was cool. This time, though, we're, well, we're just inside the room where we turned on the, uh, where we turned on the floating area. This is literally the room right before that. We're here because, well, yeah. We missed, we done missed something. No, not Whirlwind. Not Whirlwind. We missed something. Namely, this something. And now we got it! Yay! So it's time to climb back down. But, we have the red key, so we can get past that door, and as far as I'm aware, the blue key's on the other side of the... It's in the... The, the blue key, the key to get into the east wing, is on the uh, opposite end. Uh, you know what, actually, I think it's quicker to use, use retreat. So we're gonna do that. Oh, also, before I forget, on the way coming back here off screen, uh, Jenna leveled up and she learned cool aura. So you know, that's, that's pretty important. Well, I mean, I say that. I don't know that it's important, but it is nonetheless very useful. On second thought, maybe it is important. Hmm. At least, if not imminently, then certainly in the long run. Um, anyway. We are heading for the red door, which I just did this, so I should be able to find the damn thing. I mean, you would hope so, right? Mm, I should also heal a little bit, actually. Synergy... Aura! Yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, damn it. I'm a little bit tired of doing this room. L just a little bit. <laughs> this is like the third time I've done it, so... I should have thought of this before I used Retreat. I still think this is faster, though, because as soon as I go through here and take this... No, no, not not hover. Not not pound, either. Oi. Cyclone! Cyclone's on the second page now because I got... Because I have cool aura, and that threw me off, it seems. Anyway, right through this door, and one more Cyclone, and we will be there. And here we are. Yeah, I know it's locked. That, that's what the key is for. Man, I need more inventory space. This is kind of ridiculous. I can't even get rid of the damn bone. And it, well, then again, I guess it'll be better once I sell my excess equipment. Hmm. Anyhow. Ooh. Didn't see that coming. But maybe I should have. Hmm. Well, we're in. Ooh. Cool. We're in now. The east. No, the west wind. The west one. Because the west. The right side is always west. Because that is the north-centric world we live in. Think about this, though. The wor we could just as it makes sense to orient, orient east and west the way it, we do, because of the sun. Actually, that's not even r really true, but we'll get to that in a minute. But the world can, could just as easily be oriented south to north, with south on top. Oh, yeah, that, that was sort of an obvious mimic. I didn't really call it, though. The mimic sense didn't really go off. I guess it's because it just started. But in hindsight, that was a really obvious mimic, because the chest was just right there. Anyway, yeah. That could just easily be oriented south-north as north to south. The reason it's north on top is most likely because of Eurocentrism. Just like everything else. For that matter, though, East could just as easily be on top. It could roll around east to west. Or rather, well, it already does that way. 
Let me rephrase that. It could roll around top to bottom instead of left to right. In fact, maps in the Middle Ages used to be oriented in that manner. Well, I think they were oriented east of the top anyway. Maybe it was the other way around. But they were not oriented north-south north on top. That much I know for sure. And it's just sort of an interesting thing to know. It sort of makes you wonder when they ch decided to change it around, actually. When was north... or when... well, yeah. Probably for more accurate maps, be if I had to guess, actually. Because I've seen those maps, and frankly, the north... the, uh... Oh. You know, I can do this. I don't want to say this. Frankly, the maps I have seen that are oriented so that the east, I'm sure it was east, so that east is on top, were kind of terrible. Uh, how the hell do I do this? Mm, I think I need to drop down from further up in order to reach that. No clue why this is here, though. Doesn't really seem to serve any purpose. Okay then. Mm, well, I get that box right now. Like so, it's just money. That is not worth. I feel like I'm not really expressing myself very well though on the map thing. It is just something interesting to think about. The, the reason the maps are oriented the way they are is really completely arbitrary. So why are they the way that they are? It's just food for thought, really. You know, that's not gonna bloody work either. Oh, you know, I know how I can do this. If I do it like this, if I come back in, then I push it down, then I should be able to reach it without falling down any holes. Just like so. Man, there better be something good in this box. Otherwise, I'll have gone through all this effort for nothing. Uh, I'll take it. Sinner when the hell did I pick this up? I mean, I legit don't know. Did I get that from, like, an enemy or something? Was that, like, a rare drop? I'd believe it. But... Hmm. Anyway... Hmm... That's something to consider, actually. The next time... Okay, so, if you're ever trying to make a map of a fantasy area, a really good way... Like, any sort of fantasy map. Maybe it's for a game, maybe it's just for fun... Who knows? Whatever your reason. If you're ever trying to do it, a really cheap and easy way, way to have a realistic-looking map is to just take an existing map and of an area and we're back! Uh, take an existing area of a... Take a map of an existing area. Ideally, an area that the person looking at the map will not be very familiar with. And turn it 90 or 100 degrees. Wait, no. 90 or 180 degrees. Basically, turn it on a side or upside down. Either way works. Uh, okay, I think I've, I think I done goofed, but we'll try it like this. Okay, yep. Push that one in. Maybe I haven't done goofed. I guess we'll find out. Hmm. So, for instance... You could take a map of Africa and turn it upside down, and whoever's looking at the map will probably not recognize it. I mean, first of all, because chances are anyone looking at the map will, unless it will be unfamiliar with the details of Africa. But also, because... But also because it's upside down. And you, and you think you would catch that, but 
If you've ever played any Pokemon game, every Pokemon game is... The map is based pretty damn closely on an existing location. The first four gens are the four provinces of Japan. Uh, Kanto is the Tokyo area. Um... Okay, I'll be honest, I don't know the name of all the prefectures in Japan. Uh, <laughs> um... Or rather, I don't know which one's which. Because... Anyway. There's four prefectures in Japan. Each of the four gens, or four first generations of the Pokemon games, is a different prefecture. With the first generation being the Tokyo area. Saffron... And let's let's see if I can remember the names. Saffron, Cimer Cerulean, um, Lavender, Vermilion, and Cerulean. I might have an extra one in there. I'm not even sure. In any case, Saffron City and the four cities that are around it are all Tokyo. That they all split up into pieces because Tokyo is bloody massive. Gen 5 is New York. I want to say New York State, but I'm actually not too familiar with New York, so maybe it's just the city. Uh, and Gen 6 is most of France. At least northern France. It doesn't really do all of southern France. There are definitely parts of southern France that are not in there. But the big city is... I mean, it's obviously... Um... It's obviously Paris because they have the freaking Eiffel Tower in it. Yeah, not really too much South France in that, now that I'm thinking about it. But there's a whole lot of the rest of France. <laughs> and that's just what and that's just one example. Pokemon. What was it doing now? Right. But unless you're familiar with the maps of the region, even a small changes make it really unrecognizable. And even not small changes, like, well again, like Pokemon, there are no changes to that map. It is literally ripped straight from an atlas. Or, well, maybe maybe not literally, but you get the idea. And this is something that's interesting to consider. Like, try to think of it, uh, try to think of other games or works that do the same thing. I challenge ya. Really though, it's just like an I most really though, it's an interesting thought experiment. That's the thing. Uh, now then, I need to climb up this tower. So I think this is the right way. This looks right. Uh, you do that. You do that. You do that. Jenna's actually being one shot in these scorpions with her unleash. So no, no, you you couldn't. That's. That's a, that's a little bit unfortunate, but, well, what you gonna do? Nope. Like so. And I guess I need to cure that poison. Oh hey, I leveled up! And I got an antidote. And the key. Okay, um... You have cure poison, so cure your poison. Uh, also, I should actually heal you. Do it! There we go. Hmm. I feel like I didn't- oh. I could have actually just walked around. Okay then. That was a bit of a waste of time. Whatever. It's not important. Uh, I could go up the beam again, actually. But, I think the blue door was this way? I mean, I don't really remember. This is a new session since the last time, it's worth mentioning, so... Excuse me if I forget. Let's see... I feel like the door should be right here, but maybe it's further up. Wait, no. Yeah, the door should be further up. That would be the thing that takes me to the door. Except obviously not, because it's gone. Um... So I need to do one more floor up from here. I think I am in the correct area though. This feels like the right spot. 
Oh, well, I'm out. I'm out here now. Okay, so perhaps I go. You know, I bet I need to activate that before I went through the blue door anyway. Oh, oh. Okay, I guess I do need to go up the beam. Let Let's do that then. Hmm. I feel like I'm not really doing the map discussion justice because I think it is is actually a very interesting topic. But well, you know, same old communication issues, I guess. Hmm. Anywho, let's get up here. Hover. And straight up we go. I don't know, this is me probably just me imagining things, but I feel like this is higher than it should be. But it's probably just me imagining things. Yeah, the door's right here. I wonder oh, I know where that goes. I know where that goes. It it literally goes down just downstairs. It's one way, because there's no pad on the other end. Uh blue key use. And in we go. Are you gonna do like a windy thing? I bet you are. Oh yes. Okay, this is probably gonna be similar to the other side. Only I guess with no key in the middle. Oh? Well that's interesting. What's in here? I see. Well, I'm- oh, maybe I don't need to climb up. There's a genie! Okay, well, we'll do this first. We'll see if we can complete this room. We may not be able to, but we'll see if we can. And... if not, well... Okay, I see how this goes. I, I see it. This is like a multi-case thing. Eventually, we're gonna- we need to get both pieces down here. Then, in order to get the Ginny, we're gonna need to knock them out with the mallet up there. And put them in different holes. And that, that's basically how this is gonna go down. Then I guess I'll- then I may or may not need to reset it a second time. In order to put it back the way it was. And actually get through that door there. Hopefully, I don't need to reset it twice though. Here- here's hoping. Oh. Oh, okay, I guess I need to put both of them in for that to pop out. I didn't even register that. Until I did it. Pound! And out they go. And you need to go in this one. And the one up there needs to go in this one. Or rather, the, that one. And then that'll complete the circuit and let me get up. And and once again, hopefully I don't need to do this twice. That'd be a little bit annoying. Hmm. Incidentally, okay. This is gonna be Genie number eight. Worth mentioning, I sort of slipped on this a few episodes ago, I seem to recall, but we could only get seven Ginny in Golden Sun 1. Well, per type. Number eight means we're gonna have more Ginny than we had in the first game. Uh, I feel like I just did this, but let's do it again. These guys do like to run away after all. And for that matter, tend to have pretty powerful synergy as well. Okay, well, as always, we will attempt to paralyze you. It usually doesn't work out, though. Mm. Use Echo. Actually, let's use Team Strike. Use... Kindle. And use... Chill? Sure. And Jenna's super fast, so that's actually good to use right away now, since I get the bonus immediately. Okay, now, 
I'm gonna try to paralyze with Jenna, but I predict I'm gonna kill it with... Actually, I might kill it with Jenna. I'm gonna deliberately not use that Ginny with Shiva because I think Shiva will kill it if I do. So, let's do that. Just to... Place our bets? No, that's not right. Um, even the odds? Not quite right either. What is the word for the word I want? Um, hedge our bets. That's the phrase I'm looking for. Oh yeah, I was right. Jenna killed it. Oh well. We don't need the bonus experience. It's not a big deal. But you know what is a big deal? Whirl! I have no idea what world does. None whatsoever. Let's look. Take a deep breath and strike! Well, that could be bloody anything. But, we are now a sorcerer! Ah, oh, man, that's awesome. Come to think of it, I think you only get eight Ginny in Go Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Whereas, you can clearly see here, we now that the bar on the bottom is gone, what was even in there? I don't know. We have room for, I want to say nine, Ginny. It might be ten, but I'm pretty sure it's nine. So yeah, there's more than eight Ginny. There's, I'm going to go ahead and say there's nine of each ones. But, you know, if, I, if I'm mistaken, then so be it. Still, though, yeah, I'm pretty sure it fills up to nine. Okay, can I make it? Yes! Just barely! Nice. Oh! Okay, this is interesting. To get over there, I need to knock the thing out to move it here and use it as a platform. Which I believe I need to do to move these around so as to actually, um... So as to actually progress, basically. <laughs> By knocking it out, they, they go down, but that also means I can move them around by going down there, which I can do by moving this so I can use it as a stepping stone. Like so. Right down here, and is there like a- yeah, there's a- ooh! Look at all of those. Okay, so. I'm gonna need one right here for sure. So, quest, hmm, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to need to do this in two trips, no matter what. So, I may as well just do this in the one that requires moving the fewest things around on the second time. And that would be by putting these two beside each other right heat wait. No, this isn't going to work. Uh, how the hell do I get over here? Oh, I see. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Man, well, there goes that. I'm going to need to move bloody well everything. I guess not that one, except now I do anyway, because I screwed up. Oh, well. But I won the box. I don't know what's in it, but, well, it's a box. There's no way anything bad could- well, I mean, there is no way anything bad is in that box. There's no way it's a mimic- for one thing, I've already fought a mimic in the area, and for another, it's far too hard to reach for it to be a mimic. That said, it's not necessarily something useful. I don't know what it is. It could be something useful, but it may not be. The only way to find out is to solve the puzzle. Or, I guess, look it up, but, you know... You know, that's not happening. Actually, I've looked up very little in this game. Pretty much, I've, I've looked up a few Ginny locations, mostly to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I have looked up a few items. Not item locations, mind you, just, um, just like inventories, pretty much, to make sure I didn't miss any important items. And I haven't even done that for every area. Overall, what are, well, I mean, I don't know how useful that really is, but it's not, it's not something I would call useless either. I mean, I only have four of the damn things. 
I'm pretty sure there's only one or two enemies in the whole game that drop those as rare drops. I haven't fought any of those. I'm not going to fight many. And we, it's not like we can buy, and we can't buy them like candy like we did, or like you can in Dark Dawn, so. Yeah, actually useful. Hmm. It's just occurred to me, I don't think I've found any enemies in here. That's another thing they did in this game that they didn't do in Golden Sun number one. When you have a big puzzle room like this, like, I don't know if they necessarily turn off the enemies, but they make the random encounters, they definitely turn down the encounter rate a lot. Which makes going through an area like this a, a much more pleasant experience. Okay, I can leave one of these where it is, because... Well, frankly, I don't need that many. I only need five to get to the other side. You need, but you need all six to get over here. Uh, no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go through the crack, but you know, you know, wh whatever. It didn't want me... It was not meant to be, it seems. But yeah, like, I want to say they probably don't completely turn off random encounters. Like, if I ran around this room for five minutes, I would probably fight at least one enemy. But they definitely turn down the encounter rates in a, in a lot of the puzzle rooms. Which... Well, admittedly, this might be memory bias, but that I recall, I don't believe they did that in the first Golden Sun. And if not, then... Well, if so, it was just a good design choice. And if not, then it was a good design choice here to change it that way. It was a good change. Which... I know... Wait. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, why do I do this to myself? I've totally screwed up. I didn't realize that there was no thing here, man. That is just... That's a really bad mistake. Well, I guess I do need all five then. After all. Okay, well you need to be there. Fortunately, I don't need to move all of them this time, just two. You need to go back to where you were, again. I should never have moved you in the first place. I've moved you twice wrongly now. And you can go over here. I guess I could have done this two different ways, actually. Hmm. Anyhow, that is actually the correct one for reals this time. I wish there was a slider here. I mean, it wouldn't serve much point to be honest, but it would save like a good two seconds jumping across there. So, you know, at this point that would be like ten whole seconds saved, a sixth of a minute. Anyway, on that note, I think I'm going to stop off here. Join me next time when we possibly complete the lighthouse. I'm actually not sure. It's going to be either the next episode or the one after it. Anyway, until then, well, this has been Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!